Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Meadow Studio, and in this Blender Quick Tip tutorial, we're going to go over how to create single sided light panels for use in cycles. What the heck is a single sided light panel? Well, if we look at this particular scene we've got here, we have a very simple mesh plane in the center that has an emission shader on it, and it's acting as a light panel, but it's emitting light from both sides, or at least it appears to be. We check a couple of settings here just to make sure everything's set right. We don't have double-sided normals, not that that would really matter. Um, Backface culling doesn't appear to do anything. Backface culling does nothing in cycles. It only works in these other modes. So if we flip to, say, solid mode, we can see that it's actually culling uh, the faces where we're looking at the backside of the normals. And it does nothing in cycles. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And we're getting light from both sides. So why is this happening? Well, quick explanation. So the way Cycles works is it fires rays from the camera into the scene and it strikes an object. And let's, let's take, for example, this sphere in the back. A camera ray will strike this sphere and then it'll fire off light, shadow, glossy, diffuse rays. And we'll, in this instance, it's going to fire off a light ray and it's going to see this plane that has an emission shader on it and then it's going to say okay that's light so it will calculate what brightness value these particular pixels will have on this sphere so you might have noticed there's a shadow basically splitting the light from this plane in half so we can see this sort of dark line coming and it's it's going basically parallel with the the light plane let's go full front view and let's go into orthographic mode so from here we cannot see the plane because it has zero thickness and that's basically what's happening and why it's why this shadow is being created it's not really a shadow it's more an absence of light and the reason is as before when the camera shoots rays into the scene it hits this back wall this back wall shoots off light rays and it doesn't detect any light because it can't see that plane because it has no thickness. And so that's why we see somewhat of a shadow, even though it's really just the absence of light. Okay, well, that's all well and good. Now, how do we turn it into a single sided emissive surface? All right, well, it's really quite easy. If we look at our emission shader again, let's go ahead and pull this up in our node view. We see all we've got is this emission shader. And all we need to do is add two more nodes. We're going to go ahead and add an input geometry node. And then we're going to add a mix shader. Now, watch what happens when I drop this mix shader on here. The light output decreased. Now, why did that happen? Because by default, these factor values are 0.5. And since we're only on this top value, uh, we're only getting half of the output here. So if we fed it into the bottom one as well. So now we're getting this full value of three pumping through. The other way we could do this, we could take this off and we can set this back to zero and we're getting our full output. Or likewise, if we're going into the bottom feed, then we can set the factor to one. Same thing. So go ahead and set this back to 0.5. Put this back in the top. And now here's where the magic happens. We're going to, in this geometry node, we're going to take this back facing output and we're going to pipe that right into that factor. And then immediately the light output from the back face ceases. And if we look at it, we can see that it's just all black, no light surface. Light's only coming out from the front. Now, for those of you that bought the front row seats, you might be thinking you didn't get your money's worth in this quick tip tutorial, but that's what quick tip is all about. However, I'm going to throw one more little tidbit in here. If you don't want to see this light in your render, which you probably don't because it's pretty ugly, the easy way to do that, select your object, go down to ray visibility, and turn it off from camera. And then if you have any other lights in the scene and you don't want this particular light to cast a shadow on any of your objects, you want to turn off the shadow ray visibility as well. And ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this quick tip tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And as always, check crazymenostudio.com for our latest tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. We'll see you